You did crazy, oh, you ain't on the payroll. Can't be hanging with the same bros. We don't even go to the same show. So please be quiet. I'm being polite. Hello guys and girls and welcome back, it's Big John here, the app's at the bottom of the screen if you'd like to listen to my music and so is all the relevant information I'll be speaking about in this video and that's right, yes I'm back, I told you I'll be back with my daily technical analysis breakdowns of all the major forex pairs. Now like I said I'm going to be doing this on a daily so I want to make sure that the charts we are keeping up with them and people are able to catch these pips. So there were some fantastic moves yesterday and we're not going to see this every single time in the market but we're going to break down all the moves that did take place and possibly where the market can continue to go so i hope you're gonna like this one guys and girls let's get into it okay so we're back on my chart here i've got my daily chart over on my left and my weekly chart over on my right and we can see euro usd what a fantastic buy this pair had done so this pair did about 50 pips today off of the support level that we pretty much marked out which was fantastic this was one of my signal account trades the link for that will be in the description below and what actually happened with this pair is we can clearly see here on the daily time frame that price managed to buy and cover this liquidity that we had marked out here pretty much so and i believe now where price might head towards is the daily liquidity around this area up here so if it does want to continue to buy this is a level of where i believe the market can go towards overall if it does want to stay in a bullish trajectory even though we can clearly see on the weekly chart we're in a downtrend then they might be going to head for this weekly liquidity here which is much more stronger than any daily liquidity it's going to be funny the amount of times i actually say liquidity but hey man if liquidity is paying the pips it's paying the pips man let's just take the trades you get what i'm saying so even though i do say that it is not a signal service what i'm saying here on this youtube if you decide to take any of these trades by all means and you make money that's all good for you but please do not take it as a signal service if you do that it's at your own accord like i say in the rules and you can see here from this trade if you was to have like a 46 pip stop loss 50 pip stop loss this pair went about 55 57 pips today so yeah that was a good clean trade so on gbp usd we had a similar turn of events here we had a beautiful buy price did manage to find some type of support level around where it stopped on friday and price decided to buy up there was no weekly liquidity in this area at all but we could see on the daily time frame that there is liquidity around right here so if gbp usd is going to continue to buy then we are going to be looking at a type of buy that will go up towards this area here this is another trade i'm in on my signal account like i said so i will use my other methods of my top down analysis and take these trades from either the day that i've given it out or from before so we can see that if this pair does want to continue to buy even past this point here then we can see that price is most likely going to head towards somewhere like here on the weekly time frame because there is loads of liquidity up on this area here on the daily time frame so you can't really see it too much but once again this is why i'm using the weekly chart so we can see there's so much interest around this area so if price does want to continue to buy all the way up here then we're looking at price going towards this price level right here usd japanese yen now as we thought same thing we looked at when the video came out yesterday in regards to usd japanese yen this pair is just doing absolutely nothing right now and this is a pair i wouldn't really touch i'm waiting for price to go either to a high or to a low for me to grab some type of trade in this main reason being not just because i'm trying to sell high and buy low it's not even because i'm trying to do that more than anything it's just because when you trade long enough you can just look at a chart and can just see how unorganized it looks and right now we can see this is a clear range in market so we have a lot of liquidity towards the downside and then we also got some liquidity towards the upside we need price to make some type of decision about what they want to do so it'd be nice for them to most likely respect this 50 level here go up and clear this liquidity here and then go and sell back down that would be amazing but if not they could just literally take price all the way down to this level here maybe find a support around this level here so around this price action here and then they can reverse the market go back up buy clear this liquidity and this liquidity here so we just have to see what they're doing but remember this is a weekly candle so it's either this candle is going to start to turn black for bullish for me or yellow and continue going bearish for me um towards my candle colors so we just have to see what plays out but like i said i'll just be waiting to see how this market plays out more than actually trying to take a trade on usd japanese yen
we have a similar turn of events when it comes to USDCHF. The same thing we can see here. There is loads of liquidity towards the upside here, left behind on a weekly time frame. So it's, at some point, it's going to want to come and clear all of these highs here for sure. And we can see there's a little bit here, but we can see what's happened now. Is this a bit more clearer? So price did leave an indecision candle last week because it was buying and selling. But what's happened now is price has decided to sell from today. So if it is going to continue to go down and break the 50% on the Fibonacci, remember this is a very strong level on the Fibonacci so it can always be respected here uh, coming into the market for tomorrow or Asian, London, New York etc but if we do see a break lower than this level here then we can be expecting the market to go towards this level here this level of liquidity right here we can also see it from the daily time frame perspective that this was um, quite a fast buy up they can cover this area just like what they did here you can see this was a sharp buy up and then they came back to cover some of this area so they could do something similar here find some type of level of support here and then like I said on a weekly time frame go back up and clear this liquidity but we'll see how it plays out day to day and be assured I'll be keeping you up to date AUD USD fantastic pair so we did have some of the pairs that are crossed with USD they did do some good moves uh, we can see clearly here that what the market did is it did choose to now buy up to this area here and it looks like it's heading towards this price action level here so we've got the 0 0.72701 and it seems like on a daily time frame, it wants to clear this liquidity around this area here. We can see on the weekly time frame that this is a massive engulfing candle for a bearish sell. So a price could be trying to, you know, fill this void, whatever happened here. And there's a lot of interest around this area. So they were deciding to do some type of move when they're around here. This is why it was consolidating and ranging. So it ranged for one, two, three, four weeks before it decided to break out on the fifth week. So price could be going back to clear this liquidity here and then head towards this area. This area here is a strong daily resistance level, which is the 74235. So we want to see how it plays out. There's also this weekly liquidity up here. So if it does do an aggressive buy and keeps buying maybe with fundamentals, then what we'll be looking at is price to reach this level up here, most likely stop, reverse and then sell. So it's either here or here we'd be looking at a reversal sell. This all depends on what they decide to do with the market. And this is a few pips going from here to here. But like I said, we'll pay attention to what's happening and most likely it's going there. USD CAD, another fantastic trade. Like I said, any of these trades that are like immediate trades that went off from where I said it might do. So if it sells or if it buys from where I'm like, yep, yeah, I'm looking for pretty much a buy from this level. I'm um, looking for a sell from this level. I will be putting once again into my Discord. When I put into my Discord, it's just so that everybody can collect data on when these pairs are moving. And plus it shows some type of social proofing of the fact that I'm actually showing these trades every single day i don't expect people to go back to you know two weeks worth of daily videos and figure out if i actually was showing these trades or etc but if i'm actually putting the pip count there then you can see the written version or you can come onto youtube and see the visual version and like i said more than anything the main reason why you need to do stuff like pip counts journal your trades and all these things is because once you collect data on the market after one two three four five years you're going to know when the best times is to trade you're going to know when you want to be out of the market and when you want to be in the market simple as day especially towards your trading strategy i always tell my students and everybody in the general group in my discord always collect your data because then you actually know what you're doing if not you have no footprint about what you was doing in the market it's very very important so we can see this was a fantastic trade went down towards our predicted level see right here so you can see the predicted level for me was the daily liquidity that was left on this wick here so it went very close towards this level it was actually a big sell this pair doesn't move this many pips in one day's adr so this was actually a huge sell that this pair actually did do um i think it did about it did 165 pips today so that was a fantastic trade so if we're looking at what's going to happen here most likely it can find a level of support around here remember this would be a daily level of support we're looking at the 25986 that's the 1.25986 and then we could possibly be seeing some type of support being formed here and it could now go back up to clear this liquidity because we can see this is a huge level of liquidity here left in the market so more than it going down here for this weekly liquidity left here it makes more sense to find the support somewhere there's a lot of consolidation here so this could be a level of support here and then either here so that's this price action level right there or here and then it could find its way to start going bullish again to go and clear this liquidity 
now break the 38.2 and head higher. We've got liquidity on the weekly time frame clearly here and we've got some more here as well. And then when we zoom out, we've got just some more around this level here. So we'll just see how it plays itself out in the market and we will be following this. So yeah, that about wraps it up. Like I said, because they're daily videos, they don't have to be too long. They just have to be in and out. I just have to get straight to the point about what the market could be doing. Obviously, hopefully throw out one or two gems here and there. So it's always worth watching them to the end. And uh, please, like I say all the time, do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell all your friends about this. Tell all your family about this because this is going to be making people a lot of pips in the days I'm going to be doing this and you don't want to be missing out. If you do want to join mentorship or the signals, anything like that, the link is in the description below. If you want to get trading view as well and you want to get a paid version, but you want to get coins off of your trading view, then the link is in the description below. I've got a referral link there. Off your monthly payments, you'll get some coins that helps you towards that. And at the same time, if you'd like to get more chart analysis like this, I do teach an entry strategy in my mentorship and I give chart analysis on majors, minors, indices, metals and stuff like that. So if you want to get involved in that, then join up in the mentorship. Like I said, YouTube will just be for the majors just because they're the most volatile pairs on a day to day basis. And I feel like they can make people money. And you've got a cross between at least a GBP pair and a euro pair and uh, a lot of usd pairs so you have the chance to trade in london and new york session on that note it's your boy big john don't forget to like comment share subscribe and i'm out peace